We're at Alvaron Cookers today, and you got a project in store. We're going to introduce a thing called a discata. That's kind of like a, I don't know, you might want to call it a field walk of some kind. We're going to try a live fire walk, um, something I've never seen before. See what John can do with it. Fire it up. John, it's good to see you. Hey, how you doing, Jack? I'm doing All great, right. brother. It's All really right. good to uh, see you, man. Okay. Hey, listen, I have got a great project that we need to do. Okay. Check this out. This is a Harrow disc, and I want to make what's called a discata out of it. This okay. is basically a, a, a live fire cooking wok. Okay. Do you have any ideas on how something like this can be done? Uh, yeah, I think we could do something with it. Okay, now here's the trick. I want to be able to take this and put it on top of a Weber Smoky Mountain. Okay. Here, I got Weber Smoky Mountain right here. Basically, I want to be able to put it on this right here like this. And I want to be able to heat the discata up enough so we can fry chicken on it. And what we can do is make a square chimney, make it tall, right? Fill it all the way up with charcoal. And I get, that'll direct the heat right to the bottom of there. And, you, and when the heat hits there, it'll spread out. Off there you go. Because you have to concentrate the heat in the bottom. Now, if you come up with the heat in volume, it don't 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 uh, direct it to the middle. It won't get hot. It has to be like a flame, just like you putting a torch directly onto the middle of that that disc. Okay. And that will get it hot enough in the middle. The outside will take care of itself. You think we can do it? Can do it. I'll take you around the chalkboard later and show you what I mean. Well, you you brought me a disc, right? Right. This is what it looks. This is this is what I'm gonna do. This is the disc. Right. It's actually a disc off a of Harrow. This Harrow. It's a Harrow disc. Harrow right? disc. Smooth blade Harrow disc. And it's got a it's got a little square hole that the axle fits in, right? Right. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece and put it in there and weld it around and seal it up, grind it off real pretty. Right. So it's gonna be nice and smooth. This right is the there. top view. Okay. Now it's got a, it's it's concave a little. It's like that. That's what it looks like. It does. Yep. And what I'm planning on doing is putting a lip on it, probably an inch to inch and a half lip. <clears throat> Around the whole thing. Except on, on one side, we're going to leave like a, I don't know, five, six inches or whatever. I'm going to weld a flat piece onto it like that, come out like that, like a bridge. And then we're going to have the one inch piece to go in all around What's that. this going to do for us? You'll be able to get the food out of the, you know, as it gets done, you can put it up. All right, so when it gets done, we're gonna slide it, Slide, the slide up the food up in there, right, right. Here. right. Okay. And then I'm gonna put two hot handles on the end of it. On the two opposite ends. And the reason I'm doing it, you can pick it up like this and dump from the spout. That That's a great hot, idea. Really? Now, that metal's pretty thick on the bottom. Is that gonna get hot now? Well, he's planning on putting it on a, let me draw a little sample there. You going he's going to use a Smoky Mountain. We're going to use a Weber Smoky Mountain. Weber for Smoky our heat Mountain. Source. This is uh, this is excuse my artwork. It looks great. So, we actually we're actually going to set the whatever you call it right the here. Discata. Yeah, discata. We're going to put it right here. It's going to sit up top just like that. But the things we the thing what we are worrying about, we're going to make sure we're not really worrying about, but we we want to make sure that when we put coals in there, this is going to get up to like 350 375 yeah, to fry. I don't think it's going to get hot. Now. It's gonna get hot enough. We can't. We have to. We have to trust the engineer, Bill. It's what we have to do. If we fill it, it's gonna get hot enough. If we fill it up with charcoal to here, <laughs> <laughs> but of course that might get so it melted. I mean, we got. We going We gonna. We gonna get it hot enough. So this is basically what our discada is gonna look like. Right. So get how it long done. is this gonna take? Probably. I could do it in uh, about three weeks. I tell you what. I can't wait. We'll come back. We'll fry us up some eggs. This is what we got. This is the Discata, a 24 inch Harrow disc. And we are a 20 inch Harrow disc. John went ahead and filled in the hole in the bottom for us, put a rim around the top, a nice little lip here so we can um, put our vegetables over here or our food over here or use it as a spout to be able to drain. And we told John we wanted to be able to fry chicken. You said it wouldn't work. What are we cooking? Fried chicken.
chicken and waffle taco. Chicken and waffle discata. taco. On a discata. Thank you, John Haney. There you go. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable in every chance you get. Okay,